Hello, all my friends, all my guys and gals. How is everyone's weekend going? I hope it is amazing. The weather, beautiful. It is sunny and chilly outside. It feels like fall. So today we're gonna be talking about something we talked about in class on Wednesday. Do y'all remember talking about those three different people who helped establish Georgia? Hmm. I think I remember there was a girl, she was an interpreter, and I think her name, her name was Mary Musgrove. Yeah, that sounds right. Mary Musgrove, the interpreter. And then, hmm, I think there was a James Oglethorpe. Do y'all remember James Oglethorpe? Say it with me, James Oglethorpe. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. So who was James Oglethorpe again? Hmm. Oh, I remember. He was the man who wanted to create Georgia, the British colony. He wanted to establish Georgia. But there was one other person. One other person. Hmm, I wonder. Tamachichi. How could I forget? Tamachichi was the chief of the Yamaha tribes. He needed Mary Musgrove to help translate his native language and the English language on James Oglethorpe. So, hmm, we have Mary Musgrove, the translator. We have James Oglethorpe, who wanted to establish Georgia. And then we have Tomachichi, the chief of the Yamaha tribes. So let's think about it. Let's stop and think. In what ways can we compare the relationship between James Oglethorpe, Tomachichi, and Mary Musgrove? Hmm. Let's take a few seconds to think about it. Well, let's start with James. James Oglethorpe wanted to make the English colony. He needed an interpreter, Mary Musgrove, to help communicate with the Yamaha tribes, or chief, Tamachichi. He was able to provide protection and bring over new tools. And he helped form the Articles of Peace and Commerce. Hmm, now let's think about Tamachichi, the chief of the Yamaha tribes. Chief Tomachichi wanted to gift land to James Oglethorpe for protection. He needed a translator, Mary Musgrove, to help communicate from his native language to the English language with James Oglethorpe. He formed and helped form the Articles of Peace and Commerce with James Oglethorpe. And lastly, we have Mary Musgrove. Mary spoke two different languages. She spoke English and she spoke Muscogee. Can you say Muscogee? Muscogee. Muscogee. She was a translator or interpreter. Do you remember what interpreter meant? And an interpreter was someone who could speak two or more languages and could help different people communicate with these two languages and come together using different languages. So today, for your fun little activity, we're gonna focus on that writing that we had to do Wednesday after class. But this time, I want to have a little twist. I want you guys to write about one person in particular that really stood out to you. All you have to do is write three sentences describing this person and then draw a picture. So I'll show you mine. First, I gave my story a title. I wanted to write about Mary Musgrove. So I made my title, Mary Musgrove. Do you guys remember what a title is? What's the title of a story? 
Once I picked out my title and wrote it down at the top, I started my three sentences. My first sentence was, Mary Musgrove was born in the 1700s. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? It's 2020 right now. Can you guys figure out how long ago the 1700s were? From there, I said, she spoke English and Muscogee. She spoke two different languages. So I put that in my story. Musgrove, AKA Mary, was an interpreter. Can you guys remind me what interpreter meant? Hmm. Once I was done writing my beautiful story, I drew a lovely picture up at the top. And I am no artist, but I tried my best. I gave Mary a beautiful little necklace and some long locks of hair. And she's smiling because she's happy. What could you write about your favorite person? Who was your main person that stood out to you? Was it James Oglethorpe? Was it Tama Chichi? Or was it Mary Musgrove? Then can you draw me a picture of that person? Do you guys think you can write that task? Think you can write me a story and draw me a picture? Who stood out to you and why? What really made an impact for you? I hope you guys have a great weekend and I hope you guys find this fun and entertaining and educational. If you have any questions, feel free to ask a peer, ask your family, ask a sibling. Have a good weekend, everyone.